G'day everyone. I hope you're doing well. I haven't been making videos for over a week. I haven't forgotten about Beautiful Dreamer. I will make the second part of that very, very soon. I just wanted to make sure I've got the lyric and everything, the meaning of the lyric, absolutely right. Uh, so I've been praying to God for absolute confirmation and um, revelation about Jesus' love song to the bride. I wanted to share some things with you. Um, first, I might share the, the not-so-good things with you, and then I will end up with something, something lovely, something that was really a blessing to me last night. Okay, uh, I'll open this one up first. Okay, now I'm not really following what's going on with William Shatner. I believe he's 90 years of age, and I think he went up into outer space uh, or somewhere in space, the final frontier, recently. Um, but then he's back again, so I'm, I'm not really following it. Uh, I just really personally don't care what's going on in the lives of the upper echelon, the elite, as they call them. I'm... I'm a sojourner in this world, I don't belong, this is not my home, and I can't wait to get out of here. But I do keep my eyes on what is going on, uh, because it does give very, very strong clues as to when we are out of here. So, I'll let you have a look at this. This is interesting, and this is no accident. What he has said here, this is no accident, this is soft disclosure. So happy that so you're happy here, back. And it yeah, had feels everything. good. Yeah, and, and the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Yeah, and, and the realization once again, the fragility of this planet, yes, the yeah. coming uh, catastrophic event. You, I mean, what a thrill! We have to clean our act up now. We can't clean our act up. We are sinful. We are in the flesh. We have the flesh nature. The sin nature is in the flesh. Till we, the bride, are out of the flesh, we are going to be in a sinful state. It doesn't mean we perpetually sin. We've been redeemed by the atonement of Jesus Christ on the cross. But we're still here. We're stuck. Our bodies haven't been renewed yet, and until they are, we're in a sorry state. <laughs> but we're in a better state than the rest of the world, those who are not saved. A much better state because we have somewhere to go, somewhere much better to go, and that's going to be very, very soon. I'm very confident that it will be. So I thought I'd play that for you, but that is just that's a catastrophic, catastrophic event catastrophic event that that could mean anything it could mean asteroids the, the bride of christ is looking at asteroids at the moment because we are awake god is speaking to us through dreams and visions and, and words and uh, the holy spirit is alive and active in us and he is really working overtime to wake us all up and those of us who are awake to awaken us further and we are getting more and more information. I really believe the rapture is very, very soon, like any day now. And I've been saying that for a few years, but Jesus wants us to always be living in that imminency. Because one day, <laughs> they're going to say, boy, the girl who cried wolf, <laughs> she was right, there really was a wolf. <laughs> she's gone. She's, in the, she's gone in the rapture. Well, maybe the aliens took her, but that's a whole other discussion which I won't get into and no if you're watching this post rapture the aliens didn't take us aliens are demons pure and simple that's it I'll have a little look at this this is La Palma the volcano it's this is the live feed it's just constant constantly erupting um, and it's it's going it's it's off its tree at the moment it really is this is I'll show you a little bit from last night and then today. When I was watching it yesterday, there was just so much lava, it was just crazy. And now 
now here it's like very early morning and there's so much ash ash is everywhere and uh, very distressing you, you, you know you can't drive with all that ash unless you've got a special filter to clean the air before it goes into the car um, because it's just going to clog it up and cars are going to be ruined um, driving in this ash condition and you know it gives me pretty strong ideas as, as to what it's going to do to aeroplanes because the world is very soon with all the the volcanoes that have awakened in recent weeks and months um, there's going to be a lot of ash in the air and aeroplanes are going to be they're, they're going to be in a danger situation now recently the Lord told me that it's actually partially by design by his design that there are fewer and fewer flights you think about it, when the rapture happens. I don't know how many planes would be in the air at any one, you know, any given time, say two years ago before this um, pandemic struck. Um, but I'd, I have no idea how many planes would have been in the air at one time. But there would be maybe half to a third of that amount now. And when the rapture happens, it's not going to be as catastrophic now. It's going to be cat catastrophic, but it's not going to be as bad, I would think. This is just me thinking out loud. As, you know, it was two, two or three years ago, uh, had the rapture happened then. But with all these planes falling out of the sky, it could be... Well, just imagine. So there are not going to be as many planes falling out of the sky. So the worry with La Palma is that it's going to, a huge piece of it is going to fall off into the sea and create a tsunami on the east coast of the Americas, which could be and would be very, very devastating. That's what they're looking at at the moment. There's just so much going on. I, I can't keep up with it. Last night I had a look at this video here for months I've been saying you know mostly to myself because um, I'm, a, I'm in this hotel um, I do have some friends and I talk to them about it and but I've been saying no I don't think this you know <clears throat> is the mark of the beast I, I just didn't think it was but then God brought to my remembrance my cobra dream which you can find in two parts on my channel here um, I recounted my Cobra dream from 2018 and in that dream you know God awakened me recently to the fact that the Cobra bit me on the right hand and I'm thinking we can't be in the middle of the tribulation we can't be midway I think what's going on and also according to uh, God's roadmap to the end I think that's his name um, he has come up with this most amazing idea I'll put the link in the description for all of these videos um, but he has come up with this most amazing idea and I think it's absolutely right that Satan has jumped the gun and he has run ahead of time and brought the mark of the beast early before the rapture it's just a thought and I tend to think it's absolutely right in which case God will have a plan in place to outsmart Satan because according to the Bible a thief has to pay back sevenfold what he has stolen and Satan, if he has jumped the gun and acted illegally ahead of time, then he's going to have to pay back sevenfold. That means there is possibly a plan that God has hatched ahead of time. I mean, he's way smarter than Satan. Way smarter. That God 
may have hatched a plan, knowing what's going to come, to trap Satan in his own game, therefore redeem all the souls of the earth. I'm not saying that's the way it is. I have no idea, but it, it is the most amazing idea I've thought of. I, heard, I didn't think of it, but I heard it, and then I thought it through, and I thought, wow, that just gave me goosebumps, and I was just like, wow, Lord, if this is true, I'm just rejoicing. But still, we, the bride, need to proceed as if that is not the case, and we need to spread the word. Now, I'm really struggling in this hotel to be able to spread the word to be able to spread the gospel. The word, the name Jesus, it's like everybody, I pick my time, I pray, but everyone I mention Jesus to, they're talking about the, the pandemic, they're talking about the V, they're talking about Alex Jones and all this stuff down in the foyer. And they've got part of the truth, but they don't have the whole truth. I mean, who does? But I try to witness to them about Jesus and the name Jesus. God has shown me a vision of, of what is going on when I mention Jesus to these people. It's like they're covered in an oily, slick, slimy substance and the name Jesus just slides off. It doesn't penetrate and it's distressing to me. So uh, trying to spread the gospel is, is a tough tough thing right now. Now, this dream, the powerful dream from God, stages of the mark till activation. I, I looked at this and I, I felt it was absolutely true. And like I say, with my cobra dream, I remember it bit me on the right hand. I think it is, at, at the least, it is the precursor to MOTB. And at the worst, it is MOTB, the MOTB. It, I think it definitely has very strong components of it. And there may come a time later on when activation will be in full force and it will change people. I've already seen evidence here in my hotel of it changing somebody. And it's quite astounding. 